Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at spreads and what is happening to spreads on a day-to-day -day basis without many of the traders being aware of it. So I must just warn you that the following content is controversial and might be disturbing to some audiences. So viewer discretion is advised. Now, as you may know, we have a really interesting forum where a lot of debatable topics get discussed on a daily basis. And one of the ones that happened yesterday was a discussion about where to put your stops so that they are not hunted by brokers. So that was quite an interesting discussion. And this led to my conclusion that a lot of traders aren't aware of what actually is happening in the market regarding spreads. So what we designed a few years ago was a tool called the Currency Selector EA. And what that tool does, it analyzes all aspects of currencies that you might consider trading and it looks at the volatility and the spreads and and swap fees and margins and spread volatility and i'm going to be discussing that particular table today so on your screen you can see the spread volatility table and it has a whole lot of currency crosses it's probably about 28 there and it shows the minimum spread charged by this particular broker and I have only been measuring this over a period of 24 hours so it isn't a long-term uh, one and it also doesn't include the weekend it's just an ordinary trading day in fact it was a Wednesday trading session that caused the, these results so over that period the minimum charge by the broker was that. The maximum charge uh, in pips was that. And then the average pip charge was that. Quite interesting information uh, on the whole for us as traders because we want to know the cost of our trading. Now, just... And then we converted that to dollars. So the minimum charge, if you were lucky enough to catch the minimum pips, would be that. The, and these are main lots. So uh, the maximum charge would be that. And the average charge would be $18. And then we have a ratio here. And the ratio is a very important one. It measures the maximum pips that the broker uh, reaches comparing it to the average that is charged. So in other words, the maximum here is 12. The average is 1.5. So the maximum is 800% of the average. In other words, the broker will push the spread up by 800% over the average. And that's not even the minimum. That, um, we're just using the average. Now, that's an indication of as the heading says, spread volatility. Now, that's all interesting information, but basically we use this table to see which currency have the most stable spreads and which ones are the ones where the brokers really extend themselves in terms of having a really volatile spread. Now, I must st stress, I'm, I'm using the word broker all the time. Many cases, the brokers aren't involved in this spread up and down business. It's actually as a result of the liquidity providers that they are linked to. So, so often the liquidity providers will, as it were, give guidance as to what the spread should be based, based on liquidity that exists in the market at the time. There are also cases where uh, near a, an announcement or over weekends, brokers increase their spreads to discourage traders from trading but the the period that i'm looking here in at here is not one of those periods where there are major announcements or weekends involved okay so let's have a look at what some of this information might mean to us as traders so the first thing is that if you are unlucky enough to enter a deal when the broker has increased the spread for, and it will take this euro pound currency, the, the, the minimum is 0.9, the average is 1.5. So 1.5 is most probably what you can expect to pay for, 
uh, in spread for this particular currency. But let's say you enter a buy deal at the time when the spreads spike up. You will be paying 12 pips to enter a deal there. Now the consequence of this is what I'm saying is that scalping becomes very very dangerous because if you were scalping trying to scalp 20 pips or even 10 pips out of the market you're already paying 12 pips spread you or you'll be stopped out straight away that's how how dangerous it is if you are tr using very small stops uh, in this kind of market and then th from a financial point of view and I'm again I'm talking main lots instead of paying $11 spread to the broker you are paying a hundred and fifty one dollars so the broker has an amazing income over that short period when the spreads spike up to 12 and even on an average basis the broker is earning a lot more than the minimum amount so that calculation 800 is actually saying that the broker or the that particular currency experiences spread spikes of 800 percent over the average so how we also use this information is we, we say all right we want to trade currencies that have a stable spread and if you then go down this list because it's sorted and any of these tables can be sorted you just click on the heading and it gets they get sorted in uh, descending or ascending order and then let's have a look at the most stable currency so the most stable currency is the uh, New Zealand franc which is a, a minimum of that a maximum of that but the average of that so that's pretty stable and you don't have a big variation in how much you're going to pay the broker to trade that particular currency so that's very valuable information and you can then decide do you want to offset stability for the risk of a trading uh, the euro pound where the uh, the spreads can increase dramatically over the time that you are in a deal or entering a deal so the danger times are actually when you're entering the deal and during the deal because if that spikes up it can affect your stop and the, and that is why that this comes back to the discussion of stop hunting and a lot of people think the broker is stop hunting all that's really happening is that the liquidity provider is telling the broker there's a lack of liquidity put your spreads up and the broker it's, it's all automated and the broker just puts the spreads up and that's what happens in the market and that's the market we unfortunately trade as forex traders and then we go down like the new zealand the, the spread is actually quite nice and low uh, it has a maximum spread but the average one stays quite low and you uh, and it is quite stable and, and this is how we sometimes evaluate which currencies to trade and which ones not to trade and this does not only apply to manual trading this applies fully to robot trading very important and that is why we created this tool to help us select currencies for forex robot trading as well as manual trading and you can see how this uh, updates on a on a, a real-time basis the the reds are the highs for the uh, for that particular column and the blues are the lows for that particular column and as i say you can actually you can actually sort these uh, in order you can see the euro there it has the lowest spread because it is the most liquid a currency but it can increase from 0.06 to 6 and the average is one so again you have a 600 percent increase although you are paying very little you think you're paying 0.6 you could be uh, uh, you could be paying uh, six if you're not very careful but that knowledge is important to have you need to know and clearly this changes from broker to broker so you have to measure each particular broker using these criteria and there's and we're only looking at spreads here you can look at swaps and margins they vary quite a lot too and there's a whole lot of other things that you can lo look at uh, using this particular tool so this is um this might be a little bit of a wake-up call to a lot of forex traders that don't know 
that spreads do vary to the extent that they do. Because remember, when these maximum spreads happen, they happen faster than the eye can see. And that's why we have to do this electronically. You can't see it with the eye. The spike happens so quickly that you cannot see that it's gone from the average of, let's say, 2 to, uh, let's say, 12. And then back again. You don't actually see that, but it happens and uh, a lot of a lot of traders say, oh i've been stopped out look the brokers hunted my stop the, the 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 price has never even gone close to my stop and i've been stopped out that's what happens there's a spike in the market that nobody knows about nobody sees and uh, you get stopped out now a link to the currency selector ea will be in the description and in the commentary of this video and, uh, and i would be very interested in any comments or remarks that you might have about the content of this particular video please record your comments in the comments facilities provided by youtube and uh, i'm pretty sure that we could get a quite a healthy discussion going on this particular topic regarding spread volatility so from me alex deploy cheerio